let everybody know we're now joined by Joseph Corneroli. He will be fighting uh, XFC 22 in the co-main event against Ricky Rainey. Uh, first of all, Joseph, I just want to say a big thank you for joining us today. Uh, thank you guys for having me on. So yeah, we we uh, we talked briefly, but we're, we're gonna we're gonna jump straight back in now. Obviously, this is like you said, this is gonna be your first fight uh, on national television. How excited are you at the prospect of fighting for not only on national television for XFC, but but, but also fighting in the co-main event? Um, no, I'm very excited about it. I mean, it's it's a great opportunity to kind of showcase my talent, uh, give a give a good show for everybody. Um, as well, it's, it's on a uh, as far as being with XFC, it's definitely the biggest regional promoter, and um, I'm just very happy for the opportunity to be fighting for them. Obviously, this is going to be you. you you're currently three and zero. You've had uh, you've had two you've had two decisions, uh, and you've got a submission victory. How long have you been training in, in in MMA before you obviously started fighting? Um. Well, you know, I started with kickboxing, uh, and that was probably about seven years ago. So I mean, that's definitely. That's kind of my go-to, um, and I didn't really start. I knew I started training MMA and Jiu-Jitsu until about four and a half years ago, I guess it was. And I mean, I just kind of fell in love with it from there. How hard did you find it transitioning from a, a striking background with your kickboxing into obviously doing all-round MMA with your Jiu-Jitsu? Um, you know, I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't that difficult of a transition, mainly because I mean, once you're in martial arts, you kind of it kind of gives you a little a little knowledge of your body. Uh, you know, you know what you're capable of. You know how to how to control it a little better. So, I mean, it's it's just same kind of principle, just different uh, different area, like on the ground or wrestling stuff like that. It's just it took a little while to get used to, but uh, picked it up pretty well. What made you want to switch and after starting off in kickboxing, what made you want to get into mixed martial arts? Um, you know, I mean, I watched, I watched UFC. I was always a fan of jiu-jitsu and I thought, hey, might as well just try it out, see how it goes. Uh, I never actually planned on fighting, but it, <laughs> that's the way it went for me, so. And also, how, how I mean, obviously, like we said, you have fought three times, but this is obviously going to be the biggest stage that you've you've fought on. How big of an opportunity is this is this for you to get to get your name out there to get people to obviously, you know, know who you are? How how big of a showcase is this for you? Oh, uh, this is very big. I mean, uh, it's being nationally televised gives you great opportunity. I mean, it's just I just gotta make sure I go out there and I put on a show, do everything, <laughs> do everything that I want and. I mean, make it a make it a good fight. What are your uh, thoughts? Uh, firstly, on, on your opponent, what's your thoughts on Ricky Rainey? Uh, Ricky Rainey is he's a great fighter. I mean, I've seen I've seen quite a few of his fights. Uh, he's very powerful, very athletic. So it's it's going to make for a good fight. Uh, I'm definitely expecting a stand up battle. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna count out everything. He, I'm, I know he's dangerous to wear, so I'm just uh, training hard, trying to trying to be prepared. What are your thoughts on the? Uh, am I right in saying that this fight is what weight class is this fight at? Sorry, Joseph. Uh, this is welterweight 170. What's your thoughts on the rest of the the welterweight division at XFC as well, uh, and obviously working your way up to hopefully fight for a title? Um, they they've got some talent in there, so it'll be. It'll be interesting. I mean, I'm just gonna I'm gonna start off with Ricky Rainey, see how that goes, and then uh, it'll be hopefully uh, hopefully I get to fight him a few more times. I'm just kind of see see where it leads to. Who are some of the the people, and what uh, what training camp are you with in preparation for this fight? Um, I'm with uh, Team Fish Black, uh, upstate karate in Simpsonville, South Carolina. Um, I've been here ever since I started training. Um, training with Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, fights for USC now. Uh, that's where this is where my camp has mainly been. Um, also, I've done some traveling. I've like, been up in Montreal, um, training at TriStar, and 
you know, I'm hoping to hoping to do a little bit more traveling before the fight. So get some more good sparring partners. What's your uh, at the moment? What would you say that your biggest focus was? Focus is on in training with regards, you know, in the build up to this fight. What are you trying to improve the most? Um, you know, I guess it would be it would be transitioning from one thing to another, like uh, transitioning from striking to wrestling and jiu jitsu and striking. So it's just uh, it's just trying to make everything flow together more smoothly. And obviously, as well, over, look, looking over uh, your resume so far, uh, you, obviously, you obviously fought uh, amateur as well. You went three and one in amateur, and you're, you're oh, this is I'm looking at your record here, so I'm hoping that's accurate. And you're obviously three and zero professional. What have, what are some of your personal highlights from your from your young career so far? Um, you know, I mean, I had, I had quite a bit of a kickboxing in my background, so. That was another 15 fights that won't show up on my uh, MMA record. Uh, those were, I guess, probably the highlight of that would be doing an Ireland, getting the opportunity to fight in Ireland uh, for the IKF World Title, uh, which I ended up losing that fight, but it was still a very memorable experience. Made a lot of good friends, had a good time there. Uh, learned a lot from that fight, so. What was it like as well? You talk about fighting in Ireland. What was it like fighting overseas? How did you find being away from, like what what you what you're used to, your friends, your family? How did you find find that? Um, it wasn't it wasn't as rough as I thought it would be. Um, you know, I mean, normally normally I never fight in my hometown, so it's just it. I think of it the same way. You know, it's just the same thing as me going an hour down the road to fight. And I know. So, I mean, it's, uh, sorry, yeah. So it wasn't too bad then being away. You didn't find it didn't have too much of a negative impact on you while you were away. You didn't find. Yeah. I know as well. Obviously, you've got a you've got like you say you've got a kickboxing background. Was there before you uh, did kickboxing? Do you have any? Did you have any grappling in your background? Any uh, wrestling at high school or college? Because I know that's something that's quite. Prevalent. No. Uh, no, I never used to wrestle in uh, high school or college. Uh, just actually didn't play any sports. <laughs> so. Uh, kickboxing was the first thing I started off with, and you know, I mean, I fell in love with it right after I started, and kept up with it. So. Well, we we really appreciate you coming on today. But before we let you go, I just want to uh, ask. I'll ask you one last question and give you a chance to to do a few shout outs. But in in a perfect world, how do you see uh, your fight, your up and coming fight? How do you see this fight playing out? Um, I was reading in perfect world. Uh, it'll be, it'll definitely be a tough fight. It'll be fun. You know, I mean, it'll be, we'll both get to show off a little bit of our stand up, and you know, I see myself winning it in a perfect world. <laughs> well, we we wish you all the luck for the fight. We're really, I'm really looking forward, looking forward to the whole event, and obviously looking forward to your, your fight as well. Before we let you go, just give you a chance to do any shout outs. You'd like to shout out any friends or family, any training partners. If you've got any sponsors, want to shout out sponsors uh, as well. Yeah, I'd love to give a shout out to all my uh, coaches, uh, my main MMA coach, Mr. Ray Thompson, uh, Jiu Jitsu coach Carlos Machado, wrestling coach Thomas Lee, uh, boxing coach Broward Jones. So, uh, those guys are awesome. Without them, I don't know where I'd be. But, appreciate the opportunity you guys having me on the show. Absolute pleasure. Well, we wish you all the luck. We'll be we'll be looking out for the the fight, and it's about two or three weeks away. Uh, so we'll look we'll look forward to seeing how that plays out. But yeah, thank you very much for joining us today. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.